talk to James in Georgia. Hi, James. You're on Free Talk Live. What's on your mind? Yeah. Uh, first time caller, first time listener. And, uh, I, I'm interested about the show. But, oh, uh, welcome. I live in Georgia. Like I said, uh, thank you. I just moved down here, but uh, something happened to me about three weeks ago. I couldn't believe it. I'm in America. After 30 years, I never experienced anything like that. Okay. What happened was uh, I get up every morning. I go for job hunting from job to job, job to job. I'm, I'm in uh, Tioga. Okay. So one day I was wa- I was walking down the street and I saw the hiring sign. So I walked in and there was a lady in the office. So I said, you guys need any help? She said, yeah, we need it. So she just gave me the application. I don't live far from the company, so I came down. I came back to the house and I'll write it down and send it back. So the next mm-hmm. morning they called me. So I went back. They said, yeah, we're interested about you. So uh, the HR person need to talk to you. Mm-hmm. Said, okay. So I went out there and sit down with the two guys. They tell me everything everything about the job. You know, they say, you got it. So I want you to come back here tomorrow and uh, come do the paperwork. So I went back next morning. They gave me uh, a paper to go to the clinic and do physical. So I went to the physical, and uh, the doctor was like, no, your pressure is too high. Guy, I can't release you. Your blood pressure so was too back. high. My, my, yeah. Okay. So there's no way you will let me to go back. Okay. So I, I went back. I went back to the company and spoke to the HR guy, and he said, "Yeah, uh, Hightower just called me. The doctor's name is Hightower. Hightower just called me about your situation, but uh, James, you got a job, but I want you to take care of yourself first." I said, "Thank you, sir." So uh, I went back, came home. But while I was coming back home, the phone rang. It's a guy that I met all the time. He also looking for a job from Louisiana. Mm-hmm. I said, "Hey, man, I just got a job." Go to this place, they hiring. You say what? I say go there, they hiring. This all that's all I told the guy. But after the interview and everything, they told me you don't discuss your place. But God is my witness. I didn't discuss all what I told this guy. Is go there, they hiring. Mm-hmm. So he also went out there and they hired him. But mm-hmm. they called him for interview and everything and all. They told him the same thing they offered me. But the guy didn't like it. So he called me, he said, man, they called me, but I'm not taking that job. I said, I'm taking it. I live in Georgia, last 30 years. I never see anything starting from $18 before. So I'm taking this job. Mm-hmm. So um, I went back. I was waiting till you know, I was taking my medication. So your, your friend said, turned down an $18 an hour job? He turned down $18 an hour. Like I said, sir, I've been in okay. Georgia last 30 years. I know people making $18, but they've been there for like 15, right, 20 right. years. Right, right. Starting pay, 18 money. bucks. That's amazing. So uh, I tell, I went back to the doctor about two weeks later, and I'll find out he cleared me. He gave me the, because they say the job is concerning driving and everything, so I got to go through the DOT card. So is it a job me, driving a truck? Card. No, it's, it's involving everything. It's uh, like uh, oil flow services. Okay. But it told me it's involving driving, cleaning, and everything like a uh, rust about. Yeah. So I went back, and this guy cleared me and gave me the card. He said, okay, you, I mean, slow down now so you can go get your job. So I went back to the job, went in there, saw the reception. She, she knows about it. She knows everything about this thing. So I said, hey, where's the HR guy? They just cleared me, so I just want to show him this card so I can go to work tomorrow. Mm-hmm. He told me the, the, the uh, the HR guy is in a meeting. He's not going to be have time to talk to me. I said, oh, I just want to show him the car so I can go to work tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Next thing I know, this guy, this guy, the receptionist winked her eye. Somebody just grabbed me from back and the shoulder just threw me out of the vault. Up to test about a month ago. I'm still shaking. Wow. I, I so I, you got kicked out? I'm, I'm shocked. Wow. You, you so, physically yeah. got kicked out? Physically, sir. Wow. That is my, I didn't do nothing. It's just the girl winked her eye, and somebody, I don't know where it came from. Next thing I know, I was outside the door. But uh, somebody establishment, I couldn't take any action. So I just went back to my car and just should pray. And uh, I wow. didn't say anything. So That's bad. disturbing. That is, any clue why I, they I did mean, it? Like, but uh, like I said, I'm, do, I, I didn't know what happened. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking maybe it is because of the guy. They think I discussed my pay with him, but I didn't. I was so happy with $18. But when he came in and said, 
they offer me the same thing, they offer you. I'm not doing as it. Hey, I'm done my part. So I'm going to work. Wow. But I did thought I discussed my pay with him. Yeah. But I didn't. Yeah, James, I'm so sorry to hear that. Who knows yeah, that's what? Bizarre. Who, that's really strange. I'm sorry that happened, and I hope you can find a better yeah. job that doesn't uh, throw you out no, for I'm no looking, reason. But, uh, you know, yeah, I'm listening. I'm sitting now here listening to this, this. What's in your mind? Because it's still in my mind. That's why I say, yeah. let me let somebody know. Maybe that's the way, you know. But, yeah, uh, it, I, I, I hear you, man. In America. I, I hear you, man. That's Never a very strange story. Like and good luck with finding a yeah. job. Thanks for sharing your story no with problem. us, James. Take care okay. out there. Okay. This is uh, Free Talk Live, 855 450 free. What a strange thing. Yeah, it must be. I have no idea why he got kicked out. Bewildering. Yeah, I mean, I, I guess like in one of those situations, it's kind of tempting to blame yourself, but it sounds like he didn't do anything wrong. I mean, and like who <laughs> who would, would this company be to kind of like lord over you and say, oh, you can't discuss your the terms of your uh, hiring it's, with anyone else. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty just... common for companies to say you can't discuss pay. I mean, because this... Yeah, that's because, common. Yeah, they think that it's to solve a lot of um, social issues mm-hmm. that can occur within a job. Uh, but to kick a guy out yeah. for that, I mean, it's the only thing he's pay. got to run off of as to why that could be. I mean, that... You know, about the subject of discussing pay, like, often it can be such a benefit to employees to discuss their pay. Like if you already work at a company, you should absolutely talk about your pay with your coworkers because what you can find out is that someone could be doing the same job as you and be getting paid more than you. And then it's like you have total grounds to go to your boss or HR and just say, hey, what's up with this? Why does yeah. this person get but that's paid why, more? That's why it doesn't happen. Because, I mean, well, that's in a why lot they of, don't want you to talk right, about your pay. Right, right. Because in a lot of jobs, you job, could benefit from it. Yeah. Oh, of course you can. Yeah, yeah. I don't think there's any, like, I don't like the idea that you can't really discuss it so much. But um, but that's certainly why it occurs. I mean, a lot of jobs, it's nepotistic yeah, <laughs> you know, in a way. For sure. I mean, there's so many practices in corporate environments that are just made to benefit the people at the top. And of course, when you work at a, when you work for someone else, you are, uh, necessarily generating value in excess of what you're getting paid. You're sure. gener- you're get generating more value for the company than they are giving back to you in the form of your paycheck. And that's why they keep you around. Exactly, exactly. So that's something to think about. Maybe maybe starting your own business if that's something that you're able to do, you know, is something that you could look it's into. It's a powerful way to take care take control of your life. Yeah. Although it's I mean it's I also can see the argument that it's hard to say to some people oh yeah, you should just start your own business because where do they start with that? Like maybe they've never started a business before. Maybe they don't have a lot of money, you know, but there are things- not easy. There are things you can do um, that require very little startup capital um, where you can just kind of hang out a shingle, uh, like working on the internet. You know, you can be a virtual assistant, you can be a writer, you can uh, do telemarketing, you can answer phones, you know. I think going around house to door to door and doing uh, maintenance tasks for people. There's a lot of people out there that just can't get it, can't do stuff. Yeah, absolutely. Um, or just running errands or being an Uber driver is another thing. They, Uber actually helps with financing for vehicles for their drivers. Um, hmm. So. So there's lots of options out there now. Luckily, I hope uh, James has some more luck finding a job because I know it can be difficult out there. Free Talk Live, seven nights a week from 7 to 10 Eastern, live on the Liberty Radio Network at lrn.fm. 